<laughs> Mark in the Beko kitchen, how are you? Good, morning, morning. Uh, have you girls ever got into the flour? Uh, they were actually pretty good, you know. They never used to get in the cupboards, but they they love helping me in the kitchen, right. and they love stirring flour and eggs. And uh, they're hard they, to get they, out of here. Know, they make a mess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fingers in the chocolate. And... Sounds like me here. Yeah. <laughs> if we've got chocolate. Uh, what are we doing today? Right, we've got uh, an Asian dish. So we've got sticky hoisin pork. So I got these beautiful lean uh, pork steaks here. So it's going to be really sort of like you know. Uh, packed full of flavour and sort mm. of a healthy dish as well. We're going to do cook brown rice there. Right. Really simple to do. We've got these lean pork steaks and we're going to do some nice bok choy as well. And we've got that hoisin um, sauce, which is mm. just going to give us a massive punch of flavour. Beautiful, Mark. Can't wait to get stuck into this, which we will do very soon. It's great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen where amazing things happen, <laughs> especially with Mark at the helm. And today we are making... Sticky hoisin pork. Yeah. And it's really, really easy. Cool. And it's, uh, you know, this is a great one. This is, you know, it's pretty healthy. Good. It's like all the uh, sugar away from the hoisin sauce, but the rest of it's healthy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's all Everything about balance. moderation, that's right. Yeah, right. So we've got this hoisin sauce, so you can yes. buy this in the supermarket. I mean, you can make your own if you want. Yep. Um, but, you know, just get one of the supermarket. We're going to add a few more ingredients and it's just going to give us a really good flavour punch. All right, so you can pour that into the pan. Okay. So we've got hoisin pork uh, yep. sauce and I've got some of the um, Chinese cooking wine in there as well. Okay. So mix them two together. Yep. All right, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of um, orange zest as well, just to give us a bit of fruitiness. And we're going to start reducing that down. And I've got a little bit of chicken stock as well, which I'm going to add in there. So this is going to be the start of your sauce and we're going to actually cook the pork in this so yeah. as the pork's cooking it's just you know getting all these flavors into it and then the sauce will reduce down and it will just make it nice and sticky pork i find pork really hard to cook because i either overcook it or i undercook it and then i freak out and won't eat it so you're gonna have to show <laughs> me how to do it perfectly well i mean that's the thing and it's if you look at the pork there with pork steaks you know they're really lean you know right. so there's not much fat in there so you've got to be really careful and you you know you just want to get that you know, perfect timing cooking it. As you said, you don't want to serve it under, you don't want to serve it over because it will dry out. But, we, you know, important part of this recipe as well is resting the pork. Ah, there you go. Good tip. Thank you. All right, so just got some strips of orange that goes in there. You know, beautiful um, flavour mm. combination. You know, they got that sort of sticky, sweet, um, you know, full of flavour, hoisin sauce. And then you've got this nice sort of freshness oh, of the orange as well. That's, little that's bit of orange really juice. good. And what we want to do now is... Um, just start reducing this down so you can turn the heat up. Yeah. And we're going to reduce that down probably just under sort of halfway, and then we're going to add the pork to it. If we add the pork too early, then the pork's we're going boiling to cook. It. <laughs> well, yeah, you're going to sort of simmer it and cook it in there, right. but you're going to overcook the pork. Okay. All right. Good. So it's all. So the key thing is obviously getting the pork in at the right time. Okay. Right. So we're going to get some rice on there as well now. Right. right so some brown rice. So a little bit of water. Really simple. Brown rice in there. Yep. Why are you using brown Obviously, rice? Is it because it's healthier? Yes, yeah, it's, just a, bit, it's a, okay. a bit nicer and it's a nice texture as well. Okay, good. You know, because you've got, because basically all, all, all this is to the dish is you've got this nice sort of piece of pork here, which we're going to get it nice and moist, get a really nice sauce on there. Yeah. So we want to add a bit of texture as well. And then we've right. got some vegetables as well. So we've got this beautiful bok choy. Nice. You could use uh, broccolini, broccoli, you know, any of the other um, Asian vegetables as well. You know, it's really easy. So really easy to prepare. Just take the ends off and then, you know, just separate all these leaves out. And as you get down to the bottom, you get the little heart. You can just cut it off again and they'll just uh, all come apart like that. And then just give it a w little bit of a wash because sometimes you've got a little bit of um, soil in here. Poo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better caterpillar poo. Um, no, you're right, it does get caught down there, but that's all right, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's always best to wash it. True. Right, so that's sort of coming down now. You can yes. see that. It's happening with our rice, not much. So we need well, to crank what it up. Well, we do, yeah, yeah, we're, let's crank it up. So we're going to yeah. bring it to the boil, and yeah. then you want to turn it down on the lowest setting okay. and cook it for about 15 minutes. So it takes a bit longer to cook the brown rice, a bit more texture in there. And then we're going to pop a lid on it, cook it really low for 15 minutes, and then you're going to turn it off and then just steam it. Brilliant. Okay, sweet. Well, I'll go and clean the bok choy and we'll get the next steps to finish off this hoisin pork very soon. So we need to finish off what, Mark, in the Beko kitchen? All right, there's sticky hoisin pork. So you Jeez, can see our sauce. it smells so good. So it's coming down now. You've got all those flavours. The rice is up to the boil, so we'll cool. turn that right down. Right, pop a lid on it. We've got some boiling water there. Cool. We'll wash the bok choy so you can yes. pop that in. So literally 30, 40 seconds um, okay. to a minute max to just to blanch this okay, um, cool. bok choy. Okay, if you're using broccoli, it'll take a little bit longer. Okay. Right, I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, some ginger julienne. So nice thin slices. And do it in matchsticks again so it matches the uh, orange. 
and then I'm gonna pop um, that in my sauce and then I'm gonna pop the pork in and we're gonna turn it down and we're just gonna cook it and we're just gonna keep turning it as well so it gets even cooking. Okay. And then that's the whole thing and then you just wanna watch your pork so Get it even cooking and obviously don't overcook it. But then if you if your pork's still quite raw, yeah, and then the sauce is really sticky, you can just add a little bit more water or a little bit more ah, chicken stock and just okay, sort of cool. balance in it. Okay, sweet. Okay, so, so you don't so have that to be perfect, there. perfect, do you? So well, just remind everyone what we've got in here again because it smells incredible. All right, so really hoisin, easy. Yeah, yeah hoisin sauce. Yeah, uh, you got the Chinese cooking wine, mm -hmm. Shaoxing. Uh, you've got some ginger in there, some orange juice, some orange zest as well, and a little bit of chicken stock. And we've got a little bit more chicken stock in reserve if we need if it. If we need it, right, okay. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna cook it like that, so it's just ticking over. You can see it's already getting like a little bit thicker, but when this is finished, it's gonna give us this nice sticky glaze on there. Brilliant. I know, oh geez, I think my 30 seconds is <laughs> well and truly passed. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Right, so what you're gonna do is so sort of lift it up, get yep. all the excess air water off, and then pop it into a bowl. Okay. So this is a really fast vegetable if you're at home and you want to just cook some vegetables really fast or have it as a little side dish with a steak. Well, I don't know what it is about this time of the year, but I've noticed, you know, with it getting darker faster in the last few days that um, I, I actually enjoy the cooking a bit more when you're at home in the kitchen. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the red wine I'm drinking at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dark. It's drink o'clock. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Well, but I think it's true, though, isn't it? You know, yeah, you, no, you're, you're not outside, you're not having barbecues, that's so you're right, moving yeah. indoors, and, and then you sort of, yeah, it's You take a bit more time bit with more. your cooking, yeah. yeah. So by all means, go to our website and look at all the other recipes we have done over the past two and a half years, if you like. <laughs> right, so, then we, so the bok choy's there. So we're just going to season it with a little bit of soy sauce. So I didn't put any salt in the water because we don't want to over salt that because soy sauce is salty. A little bit of sesame oil. Yes. And some sesame seeds. It's a secret weapon, isn't it, the sesame yeah. oil? And then Gosh. all you do, just toss it over. Oh, that smells make, so good. Yeah, make, make it all just coat and just keep it on like a nice, nice and tasty, you know? And I mean, how easy is that? I yeah. mean, you could just have Brilliant. that for your lunch if you wanted. Thanks, thanks, Mark. I might keep there that you go, for that's lunch. There you go, that's for you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna have the pork. So then key with the pork, just keep sort of turning it every now and again. But and how are you going to know when it's ready, though? That's what I want to do. Right, so... You the old squeeze test. Yeah, so you want to prod your, prod your meat. <laughs> Trying to make it sound a bit better. Prod, no, prod your pork. Right. <laughs> no, you want to you touch and feel it. So a key thing is bring it out of the fridge about half an hour before you want to use it, yes. and then just prod it. Mm -hmm. So prod it when it's completely raw and get that sort of feel, right? Okay. And then as it's cooking, keep prodding it and you'll feel it sort of starts to tense up a bit as it okay. cooks. Right. right, so you can sort of see, if you prod that now, you know, we've got a nice little spring in there, but it's, you know, it's oh, yeah. still yeah. raw in the middle, but it's sort of starting to cook over the edges. So we want it a little bit firmer. Um, <laughs> So you can see it's, it's just, a, yeah, so you just want to sort of do it. If it's really hard, sort of like that, you've then, overcooked yeah, it. Yeah, then you've yeah, overcooked yeah, right, it. Okay, so you just cool. want to just have that sort of gentle cooking as it's going, it'll start glazing. And then the key thing is as well, what we talked about before, keep it nice and moist, is when you think it's ready, turn the, turn the sauce off, just give it a little baste, and uh, just leave it in the sauce and rest it for five minutes before you eat it. Mm, I tell you what, it is smelling amazing, and we're going to see the finished dish before the end of the show. It's just hoisin pork, and how's it looking? Beautiful. So the pork's rested, so it's nice and juicy. Just going to slice it, pop it on your rice and your nice. bok choy. It smells amazing. A little bit more sauce over the top. Look yes. at that. Beautiful. With that nice greens. Good work, Mark. There you go. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, coriander inside. <laughs>